Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Who's Online Is It Anyway, where everything is made up and the facts don't matter. I'm Toxic Mail, and sitting across from me, probably got a few rhymes up his sleeve, Terrence Pop. What's up, you gunch grabbers? Gunch girl. Oh, God. <laughs> We're already starting. <sighs> that deserves a straw. Ah, oh, you bastard. <laughs> you got me. You got me, man. Why would anyone ever want to grab a gunch? Just asking. Yep. Sounds like a really bad idea. That's no, gross, useless, narcissistic cunt whore. <laughs> All the more reason. Otherwise known as the vice president of these United States of America. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fairly yeah. and honestly selected, of course. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I mean, she's the original dictatorship. <laughs> In fact, she's tried to rename the gay cruise that I had to tell her no. Hmm. I just understand why they actually, she got like no support, nobody nominated her, but somehow she crashed and burned about as hard as you could crash and burn running for the office of president, and then she gets installed along with the other dictator sniffer guy, and now they want to get rid of her because ratings are tanking. It, 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 maybe it has something to do with the fact that, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know, man. The installation didn't go well, and people are upset about it, and, you know. Well, she is a Democrat, and Democrats tend to fail upwards. Socialcrat. Yeah, whatever works. Oh, yeah, you're right. And that or Democrat, if you prefer. Yeah. That whole phenomena of failing upwards needs to stop. Yeah. Because that's not <laughs> leading any... At, at, I mean, she's got what? As a twenty-seven percent approval, Dick Cheney shot someone in the face <laughs> and had higher approval than Kamala, who's used to getting shot in the face. Okay, not going to say you're wrong by one of these, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Oh, uh, pal, you know, knowing her probably is this size. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know, man. <laughs> I mean. Shit. I don't want to know. I don't want to If the job pays well enough, you'll do anything. 20 bucks is 20 bucks. <laughs> so said Mother Teresa. <laughs> Be with the pygmies in New Guinea. Amen. Uh huh. It's terrible. All right. All right. So we actually we had a friend of ours show up on Project Veritas. Yeah, you guys actually, uh, well, <clears throat> you clued us in on Tuesday night. But uh, for those of you who don't know, we'll just. Give you a little friendly reminder. You guys remember this little short film? From the lunatics over at Not So Sane Entertainment comes a typical story of chair meets girl. Girl sits on chair's face, if you know what I mean. Come on, bite the pillow. Chair gets a big <laughs> dose of the crimson capsule from none other than the one and only Pop. You can't love a woman and understand them. This is the kind of film those liberal soybeans in Hollywood refuse to make. So head on over to NotSoSane.com and use the promo code SITONMYFACE for 50% off the rental or sales price and check out The Chair today. Links are in the description. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, our buddy is on Project Veritas exposing what we all already knew about the media, but with receipts. Yeah. He actually got him on tape. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Should we play a little bit yes. of it, or do you think we'll get banned? Uh, why? Because <clears throat> the uh, you know the, the oh, big yeah, tech yeah. people tend not to you're like right. you're right not yeah. to like the PV. You're, you're right. I actually asked a question that relies on logic and reason, <laughs> and the people who are pulling the strings don't have that. So yeah, I I rescind. It's unfortunate. I rescind my words. So, but if you guys haven't seen the video, it went live just two days ago. Uh, November 16th, so CBS insider Brett Mauser exposes internal training. Stop thinking in terms of objective journalism. If you haven't yet watched it, go check it out. Give Brett a shout out. And he has offered to come on our show. See if we can get him on. He's hit the big time, and he's not forgetting about the little people. I, uh, I respect that. That's cool. That's cool. He's a good dude. So what have you been doing today, Pop? I haven't seen you since Tuesday. Well, I've uh, been putting together those slides for administrative violence. I sent you the core slides. Yeah, you did. This administrative violence is going to be the divorce custody uh, edition. 
Yep. And then we're going to have the uh, military edition, and then we're going to have the uh, working man survival guide. Yes. We will be, since we're going to be doing the live stream thing exclusively now, uh, next week you guys are getting three streams, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday and Wednesday, 12 noon Eastern, Tuesday, typical time. Next week it goes to four streams, but... The Thursday stream is for supporters only on Locals, Patreon, and Subscribestar. 8 p.m. Eastern, Thursday nights with the man. Yeah, this Thursday, though, is... Uh, yeah, this coming Thursday is Thanksgiving. Yeah, so. well, you got to stuff a turkey in the ass day. So. Sounds like fun. Mm. <laughs> Just saying. You got anything going on for Thanksgiving? No. Nah. Well, you can come over here. I might take you up on it. I'm not going to let you stuff the turkey, faggot, but... <laughs> <laughs> you caught me by surprise on that one. Banned. <laughs> Him and I use the F word on each other all the time. It's like it picks up the phone. Hey, how you doing, bundle of sticks? You British cigarette? Only, <laughs> you know, with the F word. Yeah, yeah. All right. It is what it is. Or you'll be like, you know, hey, Pop, thanks. Eat a dick. All right. All right. <laughs> I'd rather throw one at you. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Bastages are. Yeah. So tonight's stream is called Make Pop Puke. And that is because I want you guys in the super chats to let us know some, just, oh, just tell us some gross stories. We want some herpes spaghetti. We want no. some monkey. We want, uh, manual transmission surgery videos. <laughs> no, why can't you just, no, I, I won't watch that stuff. Give us some urban dictionary definitions. Oh, my God. Last one we had was the binger. Ugh. Because that guy is just disgusting. I mean, have you ever seen a prosecutor this bad at his job? Actually, um, it's fairly common. Uh, and because what's what this prosecutor is doing to Rittenhouse, prosecutors have done across the nation by overcharging people who are usually minorities because they do, you know, commit more crime. Yep. And you and I'm not I'm not being prejudiced. I'm just telling you, facts are you, facts. If you look in the Uniform Crime Report and you break it down by crimes and race, it's all right there. Yes, it is. I mean, the black community makes up what fifteen percent of uh, the I want to say thirteen percent, thirteen fourteen, and uh, the age brackets of people that commit the crimes are usually men between the ages of like fourteen and what forty. Yeah. That's like 5% of the our population committing over half the violent crimes and all kinds of other bullshit. It's unfortunate. Yeah. But it, that's what happens when we take the 70% of, the of you are born out of wedlock, raised by single mothers, <clears throat> and that's where the crime comes from. And listen, we have a lot of men in, you know, in our audience that were raised by single mothers just like I was. All right. And I'm going to tell you, like, the stuff that I was taught as a, a, a kid, it, you know, I no, I started noticing shit was fucked up when I was, like, 16. Yeah. I was like, this is not working out. You know, I'm being a nice guy. I'm trying to do all this stuff. Nice guy. It's blowing up in my face. Yeah. She, and she told me if I was a nice guy, then I would get the prettiest girls. Yeah, not, not so much. <laughs> yeah, not so much. No, not so much. And it wasn't until I got divorced... And then shortly after that is when I like, okay, everything I've been taught is 100% wrong. And now I have to go on a quest for the proper wisdom and information so I can unfuck myself. Joy. Mm. Yeah. That's a long process, too. That is not something that happens overnight. Yeah, and you know what? When you're 38 years old, when you start that walk down that you know that that road, man, it's tough. Yeah. Never gets any easier. Mm -mm. All right. Well, we already kind of segued into this direction, but what the hell? Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, MSNBC has been banned from the Rittenhouse trial and courthouse because a reporter was taken into custody who was following, stalking the jury bus, and ran a red light. Okay, wait, wait. He wasn't taken into custody. He was cited. Well, it says taken into custody here. Maybe he was later on, but or or it's just you know could be. Well, they they uh, they pulled him over, 
because he ran a traffic signal. He gave them the story. He they then deleted the images off the phone. And if, if this is the same one, uh, I think this is the no, second no, one. this is a different thing. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm here. getting mixed up. Yeah, this, judge, this happened once already. Well, somebody was spotted in the courtroom taking pictures. This dude stalked the jury bus and was driving behind it to try to see where it was going. Okay. I have instructed that no one from MSNBC will be allowed into this building for the duration of the trial. This is a very serious matter, and I don't know what the ultimate truth of it is, but ultimately it would go without much thinking that someone who is following the jury bus, that is an extremely serious matter and will be referred to the proper authorities for further action. The Kenosha Police mm -hmm. Department announced this morning that they took a suspect into custody last night, so he was taken into custody. A person was working for a national media outlet and was suspected of trying to photograph jurors. So th this is the official statement from the Kenosha PD. Well, the thing is, this judge is going to refer this incident to the authorities, and the authorities that come up with the charging sheet is the prosecutor who assigned this case to his assistant prosecutor. Mm -hmm. And both of them have shown that they are not going to charge people, i.e. the dude who got his bicep shot off. Yeah. Well, he had a concealed weapon. He didn't have a, a permit for it. And he pointed it at, at <laughs> Kyle, which is just a bit. I mean, come on. That's all right. <laughs> so I, I, I am not holding my breath for anything to be done about this. Well, we'll see what happens. What, what cracks me up is this. Uh, earlier this morning, the courthouse media coordinator asked if there was anyone from MSNBC slash NBC here to confirm the identity of that person. That person was not with any media outlet. Well, it turns out that's <clears throat> complete bullshit. Fake news NBC releases a statement on reporter arrested for running red light while stalking Rittenhouse jury. Mm. This is hilarious. The producer alleged to have instructed James Morrison to follow the jury bus is said to be Irene Bayon. Okay. This person has since deleted their Twitter account and nuked their LinkedIn. All right. That was reported on by Tim Poole. I want to say it's down here somewhere. There's a whole bunch of crap. It was like an hour and a half ago we reported. But like there's lots of different tweets from this Irene Beyond person proving that they worked with NBC News. Uh -huh. And then you go down here. NBC News' statement. So oh, it wasn't with any news organization from their own place. Last night, a freelancer received a traffic citation. While the traffic violation took place near the jury van, the freelancer never contacted or intended to contact the jurors during deliberations and never photographed or intended to photograph them. Okay. But that's why they were arrested. Why are we still believing anything the mainstream media says? We don't. Yeah. <laughs> that's why Tim proven. Pool is just... He's calling it out here. Irene, implicated in instructing a reporter to follow the jury bus, has nuked her LinkedIn. Court TV reporter claims to know Morrison. This is looking legit like MSNBC tried to expose the jurors' identities. Boom goes the dynamite. Yep. That's, uh, yeah, that's not good. Let's see what this is here. Yep. Irene by on here. Trying uh -huh. to go to the LinkedIn. Profile not available. Yeah, that's not too suspicious, right? Oh, yeah, N nuking the Twitter, nuking the LinkedIn, but totally, you know, yeah, yeah. it's just a freelancer. doesn't even really work for anybody. <laughs> we got you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Kiss my ass. You know what? I think that they should sue M MSNBC and, you know, go after them for punitive damages. Hell, yeah. yeah. Fuck them up. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's time for one of your favorites. <laughs> 81 million scoops of ice cream. What is he doing? Come on, man. You ain't black. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> mm. You know, at some point, is somebody going to just tell him, like, hey, you can't be near women, you can't be near kids? Creepy Biden grabs child during bill signing and says, meet me after this, I can show you around the White House. Mm. <laughs> what a fucking creep. 
Look at him. He's got him by the arm. He's trying to peer into his soul. All right. Now, all right. <laughs> if you are a parent and you bring your children to the White House, for God's sake, do not bring your children to the White House. Please don't. Okay? <laughs> They're going to get uh, rap paid. It, you're basically hanging meat in front of a pedophile. <laughs> Biden can smell them coming. Yes, he can. And they won't see him coming. <sighs> God, that's horrible. I know. I feel terrible. It's just atrocious. <laughs> atrocious. Joe Biden on Thursday signed into law the Protecting America's First Responders Act of 2021, whatever the hell that is. As he was signing the bill, he grabbed a little boy and asked what grade he's in. Child told Biden he's in first grade. Biden told him to meet him after the signing so he can show him around. Meet me after this. I can show you around the White House. The child's body language says it all. What a creep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh my god you're so strong yeah, flex that bicep for me little guy how you doing oh god you're making me drink now what is this i'm supposed to be signing <laughs> gotta take orders yep which he was also on record saying recently gotta i gotta take orders well He's he's not the one giving him. That's ridiculous. That's right. He's got a he's got somebody's hand up his ass, because he is the sock puppet. Ugh. No, just saying. Oh, we're starting to get some nasty stuff in the super chats, guys. Keep it coming. Oh come on. Now. Give me some good Urban Dictionary oh, stuff. Oh no, stop. No, yeah, well, I got a bucket for you. God damn it. <laughs> when we go to New Tech, I'm totally gonna put that freaking video on. Don't do that. Well, why? Because don't do it. Why? Because I can't watch that. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, the whole idea is for them to laugh at no, you not being able to watch it. I don't. Oh, come on. <laughs> this, this is my pain, man. This even Amr at MGTOW would be like, you know, even for me, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> stop, stop. Oh, 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 oh. Stop. Oh, my God. You're thinking about it, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, you visualizing it? Yes. All two seconds of it, you were able to stomach. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, we'll mess with you guys later. Why not? <laughs> Uh, Starburst Saturday Night Special. Oh I just happened to look God. up and see that. That's a good one. I got to take off my jacket here. Oh, okay. I was like, I th there's no way you got to take a piss already. No. No, no. I, it's uh, a little on the over the warm side. <laughs> so I will take down. It's the, getting hot in here. Hey, 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 hey. And Biden wants you to take off all your clothes. <laughs> Maybe that explains why his approval just plunged to 36%. I think it's lower than that, man. Well, this is a little below the aggregate. I think the aggregate has him at 42, but the aggregate oversamples Democrats by like 5 to 10 points, depending on the poll. All right. How many times have we heard the polls say this and the polls say that, and they're completely fucking wrong? Oh, yeah. I do not believe the polls. No, I think this one is close just because people are such partisan shitheads now. This would be roughly correct, but he, he definitely has not won over any conservatives. Independents are jumping ship like the first white bitches off the Titanic. Good. It's not happening. Worst president in U.S. history, and we're only 10 months into this shit show. Oh, my God. Dude, we're, we're going to have like a million subscribers by the end of this, uh, of this four years. Well, think of it. We got a border <laughs> crisis. We had another record-breaking month. Uh -huh. we're, we're anticipating by the end of the year over 2 million illegal crossings. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the left is always like, well, it's children, it's children. You know how many of them are actually kids? It doesn't. I don't fucking care. It's under 200,000. Listen, I talked about this in the lair I filmed today because this was actually a subject one of the fans wanted me to talk about. And this whole migrant crisis stuff, they did it in Europe. They're doing it here. This is a new form of warfare. Yeah. Okay. And it's only going to stop when we put up a wall, a fence, yep. and we guard it with guns. Yeah. They and want we, and, slaves is essentially all it is. They want slaves. Well, one, they, well, the thing is, is if you bring in all of these people fighting for the same resources as the people we have in here, it's going to cause all kinds of problems. I mean, we already have veterans who are homeless. And somebody comes across the border illegally, they get welfare, yep. WIC, 
you know, me- free medical, which we're all the the taxpayers paying for. Yep. Okay, that uh, that's a problem. All right. Now, One the only re- the only way this is going to stop is you put a fighting force at the border. You put up walls. If they come under or over around the wall, they get engaged. Either they surrender and they're taken into custody or they get shot trying to make the crossing. Yeah. All right? And, and I, I hate to be all medieval like that, but that's the only way you're going to get it to stop. I understand. <clears throat> it's... <sighs> just really pisses me off that like, I, I've actually, I know some leftoids. When you mention these problems, like, well, we're all, we're all human. We shouldn't have any borders. I'm like, okay. That's funny because they're using the, uh, well, he trafficked a gun across state lines thing for Kyle Rittenhouse. Like, oh, okay. So suddenly borders are fine. Yeah. Yeah. When you can use them against people you don't like, then it's fine. Uh-huh. You know, people who actually believe that that the parties switched sides. Yeah. No, 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 no. When you look at everything the left is doing, they are still the party of slavery. They never stopped. They just figured out a way to rebrand it. They changed the <clears throat> definition of words, which they do often. Yes. <laughs> Especially because they, they can't argue the point. They have to yeah. change the point. And when you look at how many people are going to be losing their jobs, who have lost lost their jobs, labor force participation is in the fucking shitter. Yeah. They're bringing in all these migrants and they're being trucked and dropped into various major cities in the dead of night. Gee, I wonder why. But Could thing- it be that they want a replacement workforce that works for dirt wages? Well, the, I mean, that's probably there's probably a lot of truth to that. But like I've been saying, those those Republican governors in those red states... They can easily gather these people up, ship them out, and send them the fuck packing. No problem. It's exactly what they should do. Yep, they should. Like, sorry, right. just because they get dropped off in your state in the middle of the night, it doesn't supersede the Tenth Amendment. Yeah, like I, I know down in Texas, um, I send my uh, our links to our videos to fifteen different. Uh, Patriot groups or militia groups down there. They have a lot of people. And I can almost guarantee you, if they were deputized, they would show up to assist the law enforcement in securing their state from the border down south. That's what should happen. That's exactly what should happen. Yeah, because uh, what we're doing now, you know, what the borders are, who refuses to go and visit the border, the part of the reason why her approval is below 30%, Well, this ain't working. No, well, she shouldn't be there anyway. Oh, and uh, was it Oklahoma that said they're not going to vax their soldiers? Yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter anyway, because now the Fifth Circuit has made the ban on the OSHA mandate. Permanent. Oh, no, but they actually did a response like, okay, well, then your soldiers are nothing but a state militia. They are not They're not going to be considered part of the, you know, federal fighting force, which Who is cares? fine. That's right. Every red state. National Guard res- is beholden to the governor. The governor has to release them to the feds That's absolutely in order right. for them to actually be like all <laughs> part of, of that anyway, so fuck like, them. All, well, I don't know what National Guard is surrounding the White House or in the Capitol right now, but if they come from a red state, that governor should be just say, fuck you, you're all coming home right now, done. Yeah. Fuck them. That's right. And, and guess what? In Iraq in 2004, when I showed up with my unit, the National Guard troops made up 52% of the boots on the ground. In Afghanistan and Iraq. So if you lose the National Guard, it's all on the active duty. Yeah. And there's no way they could sustain that kind of uh, pressure. It's just not going to, you just can't do it. No. Eat a dick. This administration is just. (laughs) It's like the antidote to the will to live Mm -hmm. (laughs) for some people. But like me, I'm just. I'm just sitting back and I'm like, you know, I'm just wondering how much worse it's going to get before people actually start to wake up. 
It, it's it's like a slow roll. People are just kind of smacking in their sleep right now. <laughs> well, one of the big things. Yeah, football practice, you know, but sooner or later. One, like, <laughs> my gut is telling me if we see more ice cream social shenanigans in the 2022 elections, you mean if like that New happens, Jersey last month? Yeah, like if that happens, we are we. Are, there's no pulling back. Yeah, because a lot of people are like, why the fuck are we voting? If you guys could just print a bunch of ballots and 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 show up in the middle of the night with uh, your ice cream cones or whatever, and uh, you know it is what it is. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see. Got to be careful how we talk about that, man. I, I got you. I got you. <clears throat> You're gonna get me sued, man. Well, and, you know, <laughs> and they're going after people's kids. Of course. They're coming after your kids. Yeah. Do you really think that's gonna go well for you? I mean, Leftoids. we're already starting to see a little backlash against the CRT in, in schools. Yeah. And people are, you know, reading the curriculum like, hey, wait a minute. There's pornography here. What the hell is this? Yeah. You know, and we saw that one video clip a couple yeah. weeks back. Yeah. They couldn't even address it in front of the school. Um, there's children here. Like, you're assigning this to my kids. That's right. Screw you. Now, I have no idea why. I don't know. I'm not going to say they should commit violence. But if it were to happen, I would definitely understand. So it's kind of like the, the family court situation where, you know, you, you get a, a load of it and then suddenly you're like, you know, I don't understand why there isn't a, uh, a barricaded, barricaded gunman, gunman across, <laughs> across from one of these places oh, and, all over the country. And in the administrative violence that I'm working on, I actually walk you through how to basically go after the lawyers involved and the judge. The law. The and judge, it's all legal. The big... It's all legal. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, most of it's legal. Uh, it's, it's Some not, of it's unethical. It's not, might not be ethical, but yeah. that doesn't make it illegal. But here's another thing most people don't know. Just they, the Clintons. They punish attorneys for doing unethical shit. They don't punish you for doing unethical shit. Yeah. Therefore, they're at a supreme disadvantage if you know how to frame the argument and you have enough people dogpiling. I sincerely hope that Binger gets punished for doing illegal shit. Well, we'll see what happens. Shit because it, it, if this is a mistrial. <laughs> it already is. It just hasn't been ruled as one. Well, no, I, we can't <laughs> We can't say until it is ruled upon. Oh, I'm just saying, if this were any other random case that was not this high profile with a guaranteed way to piss off the leftoids, it would have already been ruled mistrial with, with prejudice. I guarantee it. I have actually been in the court in Wayne County and their prosecutors do shit like that on the regular and nobody says a fucking thing. Well, Wayne County is about as corrupt as it gets. They, they elected I know. Kwame Kilpatrick. Have- Trump pardoned him. Fuck you for that. And they, even after he was thrown in prison, they said they would elect him again. You no. get what you get. I'm just saying that, uh, Weird things are are, 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 are a muck. And, yeah. like, half of the reason we're having all of this peaceful protesting is they're pissed off. The peaceful protesting. Because Fiery but peaceful. People are pissed off that their constitutional rights are being ignored. They're being thrown in prison. They're, I mean, we... And t- well, I can't say this anymore because we really don't know how many people in the concentration camps in China. But this is supposed to be... The crown jewel of the free world, and we imprison more people than Russia and China combined. It's not true anymore. But I don't really don't know. Yeah, but what's legally on the books, mm-hmm. you can claim that. Yeah, but like, for instance, you you're you live clean. All right, you're about one of the cleanest living dudes I've come across. You're married. You're happily married. You got a nice house here. The law enforcement agencies can kick your door down, come in here, and I can almost guarantee you they would have find they will find enough violations of so-called victimless laws that we have on the books. You could be looking at five to seven years doing you know, you know big doing time in the big house. The big house. Uh, it's wrong. Of it's fucking it's wrong. wrong. It, it, it's it's wrong for for Kyle Rittenhouse, and it's fucking wrong for all those other people. It's fucking it's fucked up. Yep. It, it needs to be fixed. Yeah. Either they fix it themselves. Heaven help us. Heaven help us, really. If they if they are allowed to sacrifice this kid on the altar of wokeness, we are all fucked. That's right. Well, 
we're fucked as long as people allow it to happen. I mean, what are you going to do when you go, you're going to roll into a city to arrest somebody and you got like, you know, four or five squad cars. You show up in front of the dude's house and all of a sudden 200 armed people are in the street saying, no, you need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. I mean, I can't really do much to that. Listen, I, I know a lot of cops. A lot of them are arrogant fuck holes, but numbers are numbers. All right. Yeah. There's, I mean, there's bad neighborhoods that I know cops are supposed to patrol. They don't go in there because it's fucking dangerous. Okay, if the if the population says fuck you, your laws are fucking crazy. Anyone can be convicted. We no longer wish to participate because historically. We don't get justice in the courts. Where do you get it? In the streets. Outside the courtroom. That's just historic facts. Yeah. I mean, it's not like this country was founded on fighting back against unruly bullshit or anything, and that wasn't anywhere near as bad as what we're dealing with today. Can you imagine if the British government back in the day said, you know what? Hmm. We're going to take... One child out of your family, they're going to go over to England and be, you know, and we're going to train them, train them up to be part of the, you know, the British military. Are you out of your goddamn mind? That's, I mean, literally, they're going after our kids for the vax. Yeah. I mean, uh, yep. all it's going to take is enough people who get hurt by that. And yeah. it's going to get lively up in here. And, of course, you do have assholes like that uh, jack-off Malik Austin down in Texas who, you know, the, the guy was like, oh, you can't tell me that I can't have my CRT. I've got a 1,000 soldiers locked and loaded. Get them. You, you British cigarette, you don't have shit. Yeah, get them. You're them. a whiny, narcissistic, <laughs> self-indulgent cock holster. Nothing more and nothing I, less. Actually, know, probably a lot less. I know a lot of, I shouldn't say I know a lot. I know a few militia guys in various states. They are not going to come out for some stupid shit like that. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, Marxism has already been decided on as a foreign enemy. Correct. Now it is a domestic enemy. Yep. If you took the oath, you can't fight for CRT. That's absolutely correct. Sorry. And it shouldn't even be called critical race theory. It should be more like critical race hypothesis. And it's a fucking shitty hypothesis at that because it's it's just historically revisionist. Most of its main tenets self-refute. Uh-huh. It, it's admittedly Marxist by the people who wrote it up in the first place. It's just because you have of, the oppressors and the oppressed. Yeah, just a bunch of race baiting grifters. Oh, yeah. Absolutely correct. It's just that they and took it, away the class warfare and replaced it with race. Yeah. That's it. That's exactly what they did. And I feel sorry for the individuals who are, have been lied to and fooled by this. Yeah. Okay. Because the only privilege that exists is having a father. Yeah. You don't seem, these people don't seem to understand. If you have a mother and you have a father and they are active in your life, you have such an advantage over everyone else who doesn't have that. And it's not a race thing. No. Two parent privilege is the privilege. Yeah. It's yeah, it, I'm proven. Sorry. That's just the way it is. You can, I mean, we've proven this on the show several times. You take average median income for various ethnicities, mm-hmm. rank them, then take those same ethnicities and look up their rate of single parenthood. Those lines will be parallel. Absolutely correct. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm sorry, but, uh, but I, you guys decided to buy into the bullshit of LBJ. <laughs> Well, and I, I, I say it like it's Spanish because it's funny. <laughs> but I, I, I understand the frustration. I get it too. I, but and, and they're like, well, we don't have the same opportunities. Your opportunities have been shipped overseas since the seventies. Yep. Back in the in like nineteen seventy two, you could literally say, "Fuck this shit, I'm out." Yeah. Walk out of high school at in tenth mm-hmm. grade. Walk onto the factory floor, make enough money to feed you, a woman, and your kids. Yep. Those opportunities are long gone. And you know where they went? They went up the smokestacks in China. Yep. And the same politicians who promise you all the free shit are the same globalist asshats who created the policies that made this outsourcing possible. Absolutely correct. It it, it blows my mind that we can dig iron ore up here. 
ship it to one of the coasts, put it on a fucking cargo ship, send it to China, they smelt it, do whatever you're going to do, put it back in the ship, ship it across the ocean, and we can still get it cheaper. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Serious. That is so fucked up. Yeah, well, it you, shouldn't be possible. Well, they have a highly centralized, although you know, somewhat hyper capitalistic system that allows them to manipulate currency, exploit their labor force, outright enslave yeah. it in many cases. Yes, I mean, there yeah. you go. They put a, they put suicide nets around buildings over there for a reason. Yep, and virtually every major electronic in your house owes something to that. It is. Yeah, Quite all, disgusting. They've been made over in Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing Bang Land. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing. <laughs> I got ya. I got ya. I got ya. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, we need to we need to make a, a new shirt. It's just just map of China with the flag on it. Just put Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing Bang Land and put Winnie the Pooh with a freaking red flag in front. Just telling you, man. <laughs> I'm just telling you. That was good. That That's, was good. It's been, it's been very outstanding. Got to give credit where credit is due listen, because that is Dune Law. That's just grunt speak right there. That's hundred <laughs> percent grunt. That's how grunts talk. I like it. Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing Bang Land. <laughs> I've, I've been waiting for something that's funnier than sweet and sour sniffles. I think we finally got it. Because after all, that is where the uh, Iau comes from. Yeah. Iau! Iau! Yeah. If you guys like that comment, let us know in the comments. Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing Bang Land. A waka waka waka. All right. Let's read some super chats I, I, here, guys. Let's I, I, see. I, 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 we have to do the count. We got to do the count. We got to do the roll call. Let's jump in here. Over on you, boob. We got 881. Thank you all for tuning in. Mm. 27 on MGTOW.TV, 75 on Odyssey. Uh, DLive has four because apparently, even though DLive says we're live, it's not showing picture. Mm -hmm. Still wondering how the hell that's going on. DLive nuked the show. Not sure what's going on, guys. So apologize to everybody over there at DLive if you can hear us and not see us. And over on Twitch, 65. A little light tonight. A little, yeah, a little light tonight, but you know we haven't done a Thursday stream in a while. So Okay. Yeah, but they are going to become a regular thing, uh -huh. so just for supporters only. <laughs> we'll probably do one or two a month for the better public for everybody. Yeah, and you know what? Like, um, for the supporters only, if they um, have any subjects they want me to cover, I mean, That's what or, they're all or about. they want my opinion on it, I'll do that. Yeah. I do field a lot of uh, equipment and gun questions. Mm. I figured it'd be a lot of pops prepper stuff, things like that. Yeah, weapons. yeah. So good times. It is what it is. Jackal the Emperor on Streamlabs donated fifteen dollars for the anti prick tick prescription counter. Cheers, you glorious sons of bitches. Well, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Let's play PC. Pop, what is more likely to make you puke? Amy Horton's latest pap smear or the fact that Kyle Rittenhouse hasn't been acquitted yet? I'll go with the Rittenhouse not being acquitted. That is pretty ridiculous. But I'm going to be honest. I did call it. It's going to be a hung jury. I, I, I already called it like what? How many? I know. Three or four I, days ago. It's just ridiculous. It no, is, one, no one can objectively look at the video footage and say he's a murderer. Well, the thing that really pisses me off, right? Is the prosecutor, the prosecuting te team goes to the defense team after evidence has been logged and closed. Oh, by the way. Yeah, we, we withheld this from you. Uh, there was a mistake and the file we sent you is woefully small compared to the one that we showed the jury. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Disclosure. When you don't disclose, that's automatic mistrial. So the fact that there still has not been a declared mistrial after witness tampering, <laughs> yeah, non-disclosure. Wow. And not to mention the gross negligence and c complete and utter just violation and shitting on this kid's constitutional rights. Absolutely wow. correct. But the the left or the social crats. Want, they won't tell you this to your face. They want to get rid of the Constitution and come up with something better. Yeah, they don't have anything. Right, well, if something better ever existed, 
We would know about it by now, but we don't because it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. Now, granted, granted, uh, we have a problem with some of these companies becoming way too big and powerful. Yep. That should never be allowed to happen. There's absolutely no, I mean, it's ludicrous to me why Amazon has been allowed to sell virtually everything. They're undermining the, 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 basically the post office and that whole system. It is ridiculous. I mean, they're controlling, they turned off the servers to parlor. Yep. I mean, what the fuck is that? They start off as a book selling company Mm -hmm. and now they do everything. That needs to stop. If if I ran the show, Amazon, I'd break it into like 50 different companies. Same thing. Walmart, gone. <laughs> Fuck Walmart. Okay, gone. It, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, I would like to see the main street in all of the small towns across this entire nation get the wake-up call. And, you know, we're back to business as usual back in the day when this country was healthy. That's just my opinion. What do I know? We're getting a weird... We're getting some feedback? No, it's not getting the feedback. We're getting like a weird jittery thing from your camera. Not sure why. (laughs) Seems to have caught up now. All of a sudden, it it was like frozen for a second. It was doing the... Doing the- you were doing the Walt Disney. <laughs> now, what the hell that's all about? Seems to be okay now. All right, fuck it. <laughs> it's weird. Maybe uh, maybe there's some uh, stuff built into the chips from uh, Ching Ching Walla Walla <laughs> yeah, Bing Bing Land. Ching- yeah, they're listening into it. And us. they didn't like my comment. Aw, oh, damn it. You're fucking us, man. You're fucking us. <laughs> All right, back over here to Streamlabs. Let's play PC. Thank you for that one there. Crusader Nate, what's up, you munging monks? Uh, I have a fairly detailed story that is really bad, but I can't get it all into one message on Streamlabs. What's the best way to get it to you? Redon- email it. Email it, redonkulousblake at gmail.com. I'll keep an eye out for it. Let's play PC. Disgusting story part one. I tried taking a taking Xenical to lose weight. It's a drug that makes your intestines not absorb fat. Oh. They warn you not to eat any fatty food while taking it. Oh, yeah. But I didn't listen. Once I ate a bunch of pizza at my mother-in-law's house. I leaned over to fart, and instead of gas, out came about a pint of vomit-scented diesel-like substance. It soaked through my pants, through the upholstery, and into the couch cushions. In a panic, I turned over the cushion to hide it. <laughs> So what you're saying <laughs> is you wound up with a bad case of anal seepage. You never trust a fart, bro. <laughs> oh, it was a Jeff Fox where they came up with that joke, right? Yeah, anal, anal seepage, seepage, yeah. Oh, I got to give the guy credit. That's, that's, uh, that's masterful, masterful. Well, it's, all he had to do was read the back of the freaking like, fat-free Pringles can. Well, the thing is, is that something similar has happened to me. Oh, no. It didn't seep in anyone's furniture or anything. But Story time. Oh yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, you trusted a fart? No, no, <laughs> no. I was driving between New York and Detroit. Okay. I stopped to get gas, and I pick up one of those, you know, what's it? What was it? Or, or, or was it Ortesta or something? They put in there. It's it's in in some kind. It's a snack food, and it basically has an additive to it, so you don't absorb the fat. Oh, okay. I don't know what it's called, but I'm like, hey, well, you know, because I was two, two twelve, two fifteen, yeah, and I needed to get lose lose a few pounds so I could pass tape because we had a PT test coming up. So I, I bought the chips and I ate them. An hour later, I literally pulled the car over on the side of the highway, ran down in some bushes, and took an oily shit. <laughs> That's horrifying <laughs> it's either that or my car true story. but i wasn't gonna let it seep into my car so that that's horrible i mean you might as well just tear the seat out and get a new one at a junk car true story i'm not sure what's going on with your camera tonight it seems like coming and going with that weird effect i'm sorry man I, 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 nothing has changed it just seems to be kind of uh giving me kind of a weirdness 
Yeah, I know. It's just, it's just, yeah. Yes, I know, Keith. <laughs> you don't have to send me texts. We understand. We understand. I'm not sure what's causing it. I might just do a quick uh, off and on on the camera, see if that'll jog it. All right. But either way, jumping back over here, I'll keep an eye on it. Alex Patino, my red pill moment came when I got to my first unit for the army in Germany. Our sister's squadron was deployed, and I saw a couple of wives hanging out in the barracks mm -hmm. and continued to see all kinds of BS. Scouts out, out front. Yep, that's actually fairly common. And you're freezing again. What the hell? Am I fr yeah, I am freezing. What? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. You know what? I'm going to throw up Clarence the cop, and I'm going to see if I can figure this out. So you guys enjoy this. Be back in a moment. Hey, it's your old buddy Joe. You know, Uncle Joe. And today I'm going to tell you uh, uh, just a story about um, this guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, wait, wait, what's that guy's name? C Clarence? Yeah, I think it's Clarence. C C Clarence the cop? Yeah, yeah, that's it. C C Clarence, Clarence Cop. Yeah, that, that's the guy I'm going to tell you a story about today. Growing up in, in, in Scranton, you know, the, the mean streets of Scranton. Well, there was this guy, um, Corn Pop. And Corn Pop, he was a bad dude. And this one time, me and him got into it, and we were about to throw down. I think that's what the kids are calling it today, that they're throwing down. But, but back in my day, we used to call it um, uh, fisticuffs. And because he was, this guy, like I said, corn pop, he's just, he was a bad dude. And then Clarence stepped in and he was like, come on, man, come on. And me and corn pop looked at each other and were like, yeah, come on, man. Well, what are we doing? Well, well, what's going on? So we jumped on our bicycles. Then we went down to the the, uh, the soda pop shop and we got ice cream. So I learned a lot that day about roaches and fisticuffs and Rocky Road ice cream. And, and it's all because of Clarence. Cl Clarence Pop. Clarence Pop the cop. And, and thank you, Clarence. All right. Okay, let me, let me turn this off here. Now, you, you guys are paying me for this, right? Just, just make sure you send Hunter the money and, and just you put it in his account. And All right. Well, back. well, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. What I, had happened? To, I had to move some stuff around here because for some reason it just started screwing up. I'm having technical problems. It could be worse. It could be worse. Yeah. Well, we could. Uh, well, I had you patched in one way. I moved around the patch, so hopefully, I won't have any more issues. Uh, <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. Of Allegedly. Gotcha. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed Clarence the Cop. That was courtesy of uh, Billy Von Baum. He's the man. Billy Von Baum. Von Baum. Uh, Jimbo the Jim Bro, the female version of a tea bag is called a clam sham. <laughs> a clam sham? <laughs> I like it. Ninja straw. Ah, bastard. <laughs> uh, P.S. Last donation screwed up. Hope you get the beer money at least. All right. I appreciate it. Jimmy Bones, Shirley Temple nasty version. It's a woman's used tampon. What happened to my split screen? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> That's weird. Eh, whatever. You know what I can do? See, this is this is why it pays to be me because I can just grab. I can just grab stuff and throw it in, and then throw it behind. Ah, it's like wow. Watch this. Why it's going to cover us up for a second, but then all of a sudden, ah, there we go. All right. What happened to my screens? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. You fucked some shit up. Eh, well, you know what? It might have been brought over from the. Uh, from the hard drives that got disconnected when I had to move everything around. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? 
Uh, apparently not a whole hell of a lot. Let's so just uh, we're just gonna have through. we're just gonna have to deal with it. Screw it. Just hammer through it. Yeah, it was either that or your camera screwing up. So it is what it is. It's not a big deal. No, it is what it is. Ah, oh, you missed. Damn it. That's a woman's used tampon after a heavy flow dipped in her squirt and garnished with a herpes cyst. <laughs> God, that's horrible. That is beyond terrible. Oh, oh, awful. I don't like it. Polska Bob, $25 donation. Thank you so much. Gentlemen, beer monies. Blake, why must you turn this into a house of lies? It was Yamamoto that said the blade of grass line. Yeah, we, we've been over this, and I'm going to Yamamoto boat your mama's titties later. <laughs> Suck my dick. Jimbo <laughs> the Jim Bro. Here's a very Australian story for you. I was out in the shitter at night, and I had a huntsman spider climbed on my sack mid-dump. Let's just say I didn't have to go anymore. Yeah, That's yeah. Awful. I, I'm going to be honest. Having anything bite your junk is never a good day. No, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun. No, no. I There was a couple of times in ranger school and down in South America, you pull your junk out to take a piss and it gets mobbed by mosquitoes. <laughs> it's a bad day, man. It sounds it's like a, a very bad, bad day. day. It sounds like a very, very bad day. What are you going to do? Uh, Probably not a whole hell of a lot. To be honest with you. Uh, jumping over back here. Okay, Crusader Nate email sent to Blake. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what you got for me. Oh, there it is. I would guess that Susan at YouTube wouldn't have a problem with you calling everyone a bunch of riggers or naggers. Almost 20 years ago, I was working in EMS. We had a pickup of a patient with severe abdominal distension, abdominal pain. We got to the guy... We got the guy to the emergency department, which was slow that night. We spoke with the doctor who began to do a patient assessment with us there and the patient. The more the doctor began to put pressure on the patient's abdomen, the patient began to get more and more agitated and uncomfortable. Not even two minutes after that, the patient started to be, began to gag hard with tears in his eyes. Then the floodgates opened, and the patient projectile vomited a grayish-green fluid that sprayed the doctor, one oh. of the nurses, until a full, almost six-inch log of poop came out of his mouth, scraping his teeth. <laughs> After he took a big, deep breath, he was crying, saying, Oh, my God, that tasted horrible! The nurses there ran away puking. The other EMT there puked. The doctor got puked on and puked, and I almost lost it. It was pricelessly horrible, and the smell was worse than a month-old dead body in an unair conditioned home in the dead of summer heat. God Trust damn. me, I've had to pick up those, too. Oh, my God, that was a horrible you story. Almost, you almost got him, Nate. That was terrible. <laughs> you almost that got was, him. That was terrible. That, that was, was terrible. pretty pretty gnarly. Ugh. Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, tasty. They're very, very tasty. Yeah, I do have a um I have a file of a bunch of pictures of uh, a bunch of idiots over in Iraq who are like driving car bombs and shooting at people and stuff. Oh yeah. And that was pretty gnarly. That was pretty gnarly. Yeah, that is pretty gnarly. But that the way that I mean that was that was that was a pretty good one. Ugh. Ugh. That's just that's like one of my nightmares right there. That is my nightmare to have your inte your intestinal tract start working in reverse. So yeah, I've I've had that so happen to me. Heaving, so. heaving up your own shit. Yep, it happened to me once. Oh my god! I was uh, I think twelve or thirteen. Dude, that's serious shit. And it was <laughs> I don't know what happened. All just like it just kept going and going and then going and then suddenly the texture and everything about it changed and I realized that I was vomiting my own shit. And I just kind of was like, Did you go to the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> they were like, well, you got intestinal flu. Sorry. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> You're lucky it wasn't something serious. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Oh, yeah. If, and lucky you were, you were that young and you could bounce back. I did. I did. It was bad, but I bounced back. Oh. M. Budo, 50 Cent, Many Men, that is Rittenhouse's theme song, Changed My Mind. Unfortunately, they will find him guilty because we live in a world where the mob passes judgment. On a brighter side, Peruvian raccoon on Urban Dictionary. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, no. Peruvian raccoon. <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, wait a second. It was just there a second ago. What are you talking about? 
Okay. Similar to the Peruvian eye goggles, the Peruvian raccoon is when you dip your balls in a pile of crap, preferably human, and proceed to lay them on your victim. As you pull the testicles off your victim, you will notice rings around their eyes that resemble a raccoon. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I guess as long as it's South American, Papa will like it. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Nah, nah. Nah, it's disgusting. It's terrible. It's, it's, it's bad, bro. Oh, uh, apparently we lost one amongst us tonight. Uh, Reaper01 with a donation. Raise a glass for me, boys. I had to say my final goodbyes to my mother. This is a different kind of pain. Yeah, I'm sorry, brother. Raise a glass to her. I'm sorry, man. Godspeed to her. Mm -hmm. uh, crazy Uncle, just for fun, look up the song Fake Woke. Fake Woke. Fake Woke. <clears throat> Uh, if this is uh, something copyrighted, I'm unable to play it. Just saying, they will they will screw with us. <laughs> oh yeah, the Tom McDonald song, some good shit. I have seen it. It's probably copyrighted. Probably copyrighted, so we can't play it. Sorry. Wait. Yeah. Josh Stewart selling lightly used skateboard. Only one previous owner from Kenosha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Keith Harney asked Pop if he's ever worked a female officer post PT. It's like opening a freshly made grilled cheese. It just tastes a bit more gamey. I have had to enter. Oh, have you ever worked a female officer post PT? I'm sorry, I read that wrong. No, but I have gone into the barracks where the women live and it smells terrible. It does. It's just. It's. I. I just. I'm. Be, I don't even know how they can produce that kind of stink. <laughs> you know, clam baking. Well, no. I mean, like you go into the like the men's barracks, you're gonna you're gonna smell a lot of shit because they like to they like to take dumps. Yeah. And maybe some armpits. All right. Okay. Cool. I mean, that's bad enough. But some of those the the scents and the odors in those female barracks. All right, way beyond anything <laughs> you get in uh. male bears. I'm just saying. Ugh. Jeffrey Paul, show him the video I sent you, fact face. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I told him about it. No, no. The one with the chick and the maggots. And nope. The, yep. No. Yeah, apparently, well, just long story short for people out there, a woman was admitted to the hospital under the ER because she was having uh, downstairs problems. Including a smell and pain. Mm. And uh, all they did was, uh, well, they, they pushed their way past all of the, like, pus-spewing cysts that had formed on the outside of her lady bits and found a swarm of maggots inside. Huh. Yeah. What? And he was asking the same question I was. How the hell would they get in there? And the only thing that I can think of is that she didn't wash her dishwasher-safe mail. And some maggot larvae got on there. I don't know, man. That's <laughs> terrible. But typically, maggots don't eat flesh that's living. It's usually yeah, dead. I know. So she had to... Oh. There must have been some gnarly business in there. Yeah. Maybe she miscarried and tried, tried to keep oh. carrying it. I don't know. I got nothing. Oh, God. It's disgusting. That is disgusting. Fact face! Benjamin Chartier with a donation. Thank you very much, good sir. Brosif, bar fund gentleman, carry on, nine ninety nine. Thank you very much. Crazy Uncle with a $20 donation. Thank you very much. In JRTC, a guy kept complaining that his feet hurt. We held him down to get his boots off. The screaming was bad. The sight of the skin peeling off his foot like a banana was worse, but the stench was vomit-inducing. Uh, I have seen similar things. So we did get to the individual before that started to rot. Because when you smell that kind of stuff, that is like gangrene. That that's oh yeah, that's rotting. It's not good. No, I've seen some guys have fucked their feet up something fierce. Yeah, and that takes like I hell I fucked my own feet up that one time. Remember I was yeah, I remember. was limping around for five weeks. It's not good. Not good at all. Uh, yeah, feet stuff is bad. Uh, Cliff, 3188, presidents age terribly after their terms. Brandon looks like he's aged 10 years in the first 10 months. I would agree. Yes. 
There is people out there who actually believe it's not even Joe Biden, that it's some actor. <laughs> Because he's uh, he's had so many face jobs done at this point, not the same kind of face jobs that Kamala Harris gets done, but just. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if there was like two or three lookalikes walking around out there. Because wouldn't shock me either. That wouldn't shock me either. Oh, here we go. Ascot Man, Urban Dictionary, Michigan sugar dancing. It sounds so innocent and innocuous. Mexican sugar dancing. Let's check it out. Mexican. Sugar dancing. I'm sure this is disgusting. When you uh, dig up a mostly rotted corpse, hook it up with wires that connect to a source of electricity, puppeteer it, and people pay to have sex with it. That's not a real thing. <laughs> it can't be real. It can't be real. And yet somebody had to think it up. Well, you know, there's people out there thinking yeah. crazy. I think of a lot of crazy shit, too. But. Whoa. Not like that. No. Oh, that's gnarly. That's gnarly. Oh. That's not good at all. Donna Sumkoti with a $100 donation. Thank you so much. Wow. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Bane voice. That's right, you riggers. It's time for another You're Not Worthy. Get something hard to drink for pop. For a toxic person with a third leg, a down payment for his cruise ship. Well, thank you. Keep up the truth and saving lives. Riggs. Three ninety seven. Three ninety seven. To three ninety seven. Yeah, we had three in one stream on Tuesday. That's yep. a red letter day. Well, that's a good day. Fantabulous. Oh, here we go. Crazy Uncle again. Theme song for the service members not taking the shaft is Disturbs No More. Check it out later. Okay. Uh, show. Cliff thirty one eighty eight. Castle Moats worked for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I tried having these arguments with a lot of the leftoids that I had to cut out of my life. Walls don't work. <laughs> what? Okay, then why do you lock your door at night? Well, they certainly work great to keep prisoners in jail. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, obviously they like to complain about prisons, too. Yeah. There's too many people in prisons. I thought walls didn't work. That's right. Well, you know. <laughs> And we shouldn't have borders unless somebody, you know, allegedly crosses a state line with a gun and then all of a sudden borders matter. Yeah, I covered that subject in one of my zombie apocalypses. Yep. All right. If you think it's bad now, you just wait till the system collapses. All those people get out of prison who have been there needlessly for victimless bullshit. They're going to want their pound of flesh and there'll be nothing standing in their way from getting it. Yep. Wah, wah, wah. K to the Swiss. Pop, explain to me again how the sausage is made. I don't want to know. <laughs> we'll show you later on New Tech. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I can't watch that. <laughs> I can't do it. And Pop will run screaming I, to the bathroom. I can't. I can't. Don't, don't <laughs> even do that, It'll be worse man. than the chick who lit her crotch on fire. Dude, that was terrible. <laughs> Listen, man, I, that was not a good day either. <laughs> that was pretty. That was fun. so stupid. That was a worse day for her. Just saying. Hound Dog Fifty with a twenty dollar donation. Thank you very much. This is this why can't wait leave the USA. Get your favorite weed or Bud Light and enjoy the decline. Well, I leave for Japan or East Asia. Okay, go for it. Have some fun. Yeah. Good luck. Get with some that. Asian honeys. The 95th Phantom. Check out Steve Leto. He covered qualified immunity. Would be I watch a good him source. all the time. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Would be a good source for a video on it. And Rekita for Rittenhouse. Send off with a gonorrhea. Gonorrhea! No. <laughs> yeah, you guys ever want to get uh, your Super Chat played off with one of the sound bites, you just let me know. And if I don't have it, I'll have it for you on the next stream. Uh, Chris Herndon. If you have no borders, you have no property lines. You will own nothing and be happy. Absolutely correct. Logan Dennis. A great one for a new tech tonight is One Man, One Jar. Just Google it. No, no, no. I've seen that. No. And, and no. No. <laughs> nah. No, no. The, the, the jar breaks inside of his ass. He starts oh. pulling the glass pieces out. No, man. No, no, no. That was, that was, seeing that once was enough. And, and, and what world is that like a viable idea? I don't know. Putting, I mean, I've heard stories about people putting light bulbs up their ass. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you people, man? I really don't know. Oh, we'll have to show some of these. Mm. 
What are the before and afters? Oh, Billy Von Baum has been working on a series of photos of women before and after they hit the wall. Oh, yeah. We'll have to save this for new tech because we will get nailed for hate speech, but this, <laughs> this is very promising. This is very why promising. They, why is that hate speech? With the protected class, women. Oh, fuck them. You can make fun of white males on YouTube all day long. Mm, yeah. Or celebrities who, you know, have a spine, but... <laughs> All right. <laughs> you still can't make fun of the women, and you especially can't make fun of people who identify as a women. Right, Gabe? Would we actually get a strike for doing that? Because those are actual pictures of somebody, right? Uh, mean, it's the it's the truth. I mean, they're before and after. I know. I'm just saying. Oh, I don't want to get fun. Oh, my God! <laughs> All right, fine. Screw it. Let's do it. Oh, who is that? I don't know. That's <sighs> terrible. Oh, these are CG. Uh, are they are they CGI'd? Oh, okay. Those all are right. CG'd. Okay. These, these are all CG'd. All right, so it's not technically the same. Not technically the same. Okay, so I see what he did here. It's definitely good. Is this like that no makeup app that I hear about? I don't know if they got rid of that by now. Cause... Just add 20 years oh to some chick's face. God. <laughs> but, you know, the thing is, if they're using a computer program. This is probably very accurate. It's, uh, I'm not going to say it's 100%, but it, you know. Ah! Ah! Yeah, that. See, see. Right there on the left, she's, you know, probably a, a solid eight. <laughs> now, if you fast forward it 20 years, she's a four or five. Yeah. Wah. Wow. Wah. Wah. Thank you for that, Billy Von Baum. Subscribe Oof. to his channel. He's on MGTOW.TV and YouTube. Wow, before and after. Huh? And he, he made that Clarence the Cop video that you guys watched a little while ago. We were trying to fix this shite. Thor Gustafson, Prairie Dog Hunt for the Commies, Mind the Border 2. Yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Fan I am from Australia. Hey, guys, how often do you check your physical donations box? I sent you some Mr. Black, the best coffee liqueur ever. Cold brew distilled with Aussie wheat vodka. I'd love to hear what you think. I will definitely go and look. You had me at hey, guys. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. Crazy Uncle, do you guys watch Freedom Tunes? Funny sheet. I don't think I've watched Freedom Tunes. No, I saw I saw my first uh, Joe Rogan Experience cartoon today. Mm. Apparently, he had a guest on there whose dad insisted on sending him like these weird, like ultra close up photos. He's trying to figure out what the hell it was. He's like, well, I think I have something on my taint. He's like, you're sending me a picture of your fucking taint? <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> And then, you know, he shows up at dinner, and then his dad brings out an iPad so he can see him in full quality. He's like, you show me the picture of your fucking taint again, Dad? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what it, I don't want to see it. <laughs> you know, there's Stop prof it. there are professionals out there. You show that to they tell you what the problem is. <laughs> I, I think they're called doctors. And he tried to show it to him again a third time. And he's like, did you forget, like, well, I sent this out to a few people. No, but you sent this to so many people, you don't even remember who you fucking sent it to. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, Dad. Awesome. Wow, that's funny. <laughs> I was laughing my ass off. Oh, it's some good shit. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, what do we got here? Oh shit, it skipped around on me. Uh, holy moly! All right, where we are? Reaper zero one, pop puke. Oh, here we go. Last week, I stopped up a toilet at a Tinder chick's apartment, and I caught her on her knees sniffing it. Oh, it was green and runny. Oh. oh! oh! Imagine if you had done that on her chest. Uh, don't ever go back. Oh, oh my God. It's terrible. That's just nasty. Oh, yeah. Don't ever do that again. Hound Dog 50. Pop, what's your opinion on moving to another country? Don't. It's not advised. <laughs> I mean, if you got to pick one, it's not, not, I don't know. Listen, man. Either you love this country and you're willing to stay here and rewrite, the, you know. Slug it out. Slug it out and get the ship back on the pr proper course. Running away doesn't, you know, doesn't solve anything. No. I mean, if you run away from your problems, when you turn around, your problems are right there. <laughs> yeah, they, they tend not to go away. No. Yeah, chicks like to do that. Yeah. I don't like it here. I'm going to, my problems are, I'm just going to move away. You know, your problems are going to follow you because the problem is you. Correct. Cliff 3188, leftoids are trying to take people's children through indoctrination and CPS. It's coming for the unjabbed and turning those kids into modern janissaries. Uh, yeah, and people get really pissed off when you start fucking with their kids. Yeah. yeah, just try doing that with my kids, see what happens to you. Edwin Sparks, Shenzhen and Xinjiang, Xinjiang produce a lot of material via slave labor. 
Mm-hmm. Or what was your Ching Chang? <laughs> what Ching Chang Walla Walla Bing Ching Bang Chang Land. Walla Walla Bing Bang Land produced a lot of material via slave labor, including <laughs> products for over eighty companies, according to the Human Rights Watch. Yeah, and then the, everybody wonders why you know celebrities like LeBron James will. You know, docs cops who saved 16-year-old girls' lives from getting stabbed to death, but they'll suck off China's cock. Tiny, a, tiny ass egg roll, I should say. Yeah. China is ass-ho! Poor Richie Rich, you could do the $5 Suki Suki shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do have one form that says I'm not gay, but 20 bucks is 20 bucks. It just won't wear it. <laughs> no, I'm not putting that shit on. Not doing it. Not secure enough on your masculinity, huh, Pop? Yeah, the whole like blame and shame, guilt thing doesn't work on me when it comes to stuff like that. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I know it doesn't work on you, but it's still funny. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> Edwin Sparks. By the way, did you hear Austria is trying to incentivize jabs with prostitution vouchers? Yes. yes we a, we, we covered that. that in a stream. Get the poke in your arm so you can get the poker in the, uh, yeah, no. Nah. Nah. Not going to happen. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. It's, they probably uh, you know have like a few chicks delegated for that time of the week and they probably all have maggots in their cooch oh my god <laughs> that's so horrible dennis pop have you lost weight great show i have lost weight dennis is hitting on you pop hey hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no i got down to like 198 last week and this that's morning first. i was 202 well, that's what happens when i you know i give you weed gummies and you stop drinking seven shots of booze to well, go to bed well i i historically fluctuate you know in a 10 pound window and I still think Dennis wants to give you a penis hey, drop hey. up. <laughs> uh, Shark Dentures, the Rittenhouse trial is a psyop. Win or lose, we lose. Couldn't repeal the Second Amendment via legislation, so they're trying to make you afraid to use it. That's a very valid point. It is a valid point. It is. Yeah. Uh, Chris Hahn says, bummer, my super chat got skipped. No, it didn't because, uh, oh, it's not in here, bruh. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, we have so we're, we're still oh no I actually I did see one here I've missed it here oh. grab it I knew a trucker that kept a fork in his dash so that he could scrape the dead flaky skin from his butt when he'd sweat and sit all day he said it was rot god damn it that's terrible <laughs> dude it's literally forking himself oh my god <laughs> sorry i missed that one chris thank oh. you for pointing it out holy shit that's oh. disgusting <laughs> wow wow i'm gonna think about that for the rest of my life every time i like i see like a, a spoon or fork laying around Fork. Oh, man. Fork, fork, for? fork uh, you in the ass. That's for scraping off dead flesh off my butthole. I'm going to scrape the rod off my booty hole. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. There's a turd on that one. Oh. Tastes fresh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Alpha K9er. What's your opinion on U.S. globalism? I am not a fan of globalism. Uh, yeah. The, the part of the whole hyperinflation thing is because... China is suffering hyperinflation, and when, when you've got all these companies in bed with them, they have to pass that price along to you. Well, first of all, um, globalism is not going to work. No. Because we're evil, hairless monkeys, and for for even globalism to even work, we're going to have to wipe out like over six billion people. Yeah, it's not going to work. It's not going to happen. Not going to work. Screw that. Travis Wolf. Hey, Pop and Blake, we're slowly turning into the USSR, or at least the Soviets never shipped jobs overseas, and they have hotter women. I will have to agree with the woman part. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of Russian women. That's pretty good. Actually, a lot of women from that neck of the woods are pretty good. Yeah. Not bad. I've, I've had a couple of women yeah, from that neck of the woods. Czechoslovakia, Poland. Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, what? Uh, Belarus. I mean, fuck, man. Yeah. All day long. Crimea. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, risky Crisky. I just uploaded my first videos on YouTube. Any advice on my shit hit the fan weapons in, is, is appreciated. Airborne all the way. When's the next Pops Preppers email? I'm still putting it together, man. I'll, I'll try to get out here in the next week. And he's to depop it. All right. The Enlightened Mr. Peabody. Blake kind of reminds me of a lesbian. I don't see the resemblance. No. No, I mean, they got regular hair color. 
Talk like a dude, act like a dude. Yep. Talk. I do like pussy, so there's that. Perhaps yeah. I'm a lesbian trapped in a man's body. Oh, uh, that's an old one. <laughs> that's an old comeback right there. So are you. <laughs> Terry, Terry Megaton, written house. why so long to a verdict? Hung jury, mistrial, or not guilty? I already said it's going to be a hung jury. Yeah, the, <laughs> the ladies in their wish. Fuckers. Dung is fun with a $50 donation. Wow. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. When I used to tear down rigs in the area of and Midland, Texas area, mm -hmm. there was a young kid of 19 that was trying to unknot a metal cable. Oh, no. His glove got caught in the knot Ooh. and peeled off his skin from his elbow to his fingertips like a sock. <sighs> I have seen similar injuries, uh, static line injuries from. Damn. You, know, you have the sta you have, you're holding the static line. Yeah. And you're supposed to hold it so like the loop goes through your hand and it goes over the top of your arm. Well, the guy had wrapped it around and it literally pulled all the meat down to his, uh -huh. like a bowling ball of meat down here, and the rest was all fucked up. I mean, he was he got a medical discharge. That I, is guy's part never been the same. Oh, that is gnarly. Yeah, it's gnarly. Ugh. Oh, God. Crimson Hawk. I had a dream pop, and it played gay chicken. Oh, I had a dream pop, and I played gay chicken, only I didn't follow the rules. Win my face. No. Nah. No. Nah. Whatever the hell that nah. means. Yeah. Crimson Hawk. Again, Chelsea Wolf boyfriend. Google the lyrics. What, is this going to make us sick? Uh -oh. Chelsea Wolf boyfriend. What is this? Uh, let's check it out here. AZLyrics.com. There we go. Boyfriend, be careful. Because women are poisonous animals. Boyfriend, oh boyfriend, be careful if you can. There's glory coming out. I can hear it on our mouths. There is a stranded heart swimming on careful air. Boyfriend, oh boyfriend, be careful because women are poisonous animals. Boyfriend, be careful if you can. There's glory coming out. I can taste it on our mouths. There's a uh. stranger's heart beating inside my chest. You can call this passion, but I call it cancer. What the fuck? That's weird. What does that even mean? Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> well, first of all, I w if I heard that song, I'd be like, oh, no, no. It doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> it does nothing for me. Weird shit, man. Weird shit. Yeah. Uh, came to the Swiss. I was told I had low T. I went and listened to Jeffrey Paul's The Grunt. The doctor then canceled my prescription, and now they've got me hooked up to a filter machine because I'm overproducing. <laughs> Hell yeah! All right. It's a great piece of music, man. Jeffrey Paul's awesome. AF, experiment. Mary Shelley saw a cadaver had... Oh, God. Cadaver head or cadaver head, an electrode touched to the knee, which made it sit up, look around, blink, and lay down. Could work. No. 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 Listen, no. I've actually been in the cadaver lab at Wayne State back in the day, and that was like one of the most horrid things I've ever had to endure. If that. That smelled so horrible. Ugh. Ugh. Thumper the sweaty fat guy sent an email for a gross military story. Here's $5 for the menagerie fundages, straw starburst, and an Amy Horton juice chaser. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> I got blocked by the beer. 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 Uh, well, I don't have the email. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Must have a uh, gross military story. Yeah, let's try yours. Are you looking? Yep. It's Thumper. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Gross military story. Yes, I'm Thumper the Sweaty Fat Guy. Uh huh. When I was 21 in the USAF, part of my job was dumping the aircraft latrines. Oh, God. The C 5 Galaxy had two shitters in the troop compartment. Each tank will hold 20 gallons. I know where this is going. The six inch tube that dumps between the main gear holds a lot as well. One night during Desert Shield, I was incredibly tired and did not think while opening the cam lock on a C 5 coming back from. Dahran. 
The tube was full, the tanks were full, and the valve at the top were hung open. Oh, no. I was standing at the opening as I pulled the lever to put the connector on. Let me tell you, it does not come out in a stream. It's more of a spray. <laughs> oh! I was covered in feces, bits of toilet paper, and my mouth was open. <laughs> I know jack shit. And Mary's, Ted's, Dave's, Bill's, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, you God. poor bastard. Oh, my God. That's horrendous. <sighs> Pinegian with a $20 donation. True story, 1992 Hindenburg, Caserni, Versburg, Germany. Took a newbie downtown to Green Goose Nightclub. We all got hammered. Closing time, lights come on. Pick up my beer glass to finish. Beer is thick and nasty. Oh. I drank puke. <laughs> god! Dude, <laughs> you almost got him. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, right, hang on, I'm sweating. I'm that's terrible. <laughs> hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh god, that's terrible. Right. He right. doesn't have those mental, uh, those mental walls that the rest I don't of us have, have them. I don't stuff. have them anymore. It's just like punishing. <laughs> Uh, bro, say if I'm sending this just to send you off with the old I'm pooping it clip. <laughs> I don't know if I have that one in here or not. You don't have it? Oh, no, I don't have that in here. Damn it. I'm going to have to make sure that I grab that one. All right. It's good shit, though. I do have this one, though. <laughs> Diarrhea mouth. Yeah. I like that one. Edwin Sparks. Pop, another tidbit you might want to look at. Sharona Bishop of Grand Junction, Colorado, got raided by the FBI for protesting a school board meeting. Oh, but they're not going to use those tools against parents. They promised us. Oh, wait. FBI whistleblower proved it was bullshit. And you know what? I mean, every time they do that, you just file a lawsuit. And enough people file enough lawsuits, they're going to stop. Yep. Ugh. Especially if, if, if you've done nothing wrong. Well, number one, you don't don't cooperate. No. It's like, well, we'd like to talk to you about it. Like, nope. Nope. There's Bye-bye. no upside in any way, shape, or form of me communicating with you, especially when you come to my house and they're doing all this crazy stuff. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So. Fuck you. It's just horrendous. Uh, AF, Google race car driver submarine unsheathing. What? Oh, God. I don't know what the hell this is. What is this? Lamborghini driver reportedly mistakes gas for brake pedal. Ah. Huh? Launches supercar into lake. That sucks. Ah, oh, what a shame. Well, I mean. If this is what he wanted me to look at. I'm just <laughs> well, I, I mean, there's good news and bad news to that. The, the good news is that car is worth enough to justify the expense of fixing it. If that was like a Honda Civic, fuck it. Move along. <laughs> yeah, screw that. Yeah, fuck it. Move along. Move along. Move along. Ugh. Uh, carried to the Swiss. I was yanking on it this morning and thought, I wonder what Pop's doing. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's probably asleep. Hiding behind his no fat flap. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, th- nice to know that your fans are thinking about you, <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. Uh, Josh Stewart decided to throw one more super chat. This is for the Lucio Fulci poster next to the desk. Zombie. Yes. <laughs> Classic. All right. I've seen that movie like a dozen times. I love it. Chick gets a, get a big old uh, stick slat, whatever you want to call it, right through her eye socket and nice close-up. Looks fake as shit, but it's fun. She needed that like a sharp stick in the eye? Yeah, pretty much. Right in the butt. Uh, it's, it's the same chick that plays Prince's mom in Purple Rain. There's okay. a nice bit of trivia for you. Yeah. Chris, F everyone. You guys are heroes and tell the truth. Gods! I don't know about that last part, but I'll take the first. Thank you. <laughs> well, we try. We try. Yeah, God's lowercase g, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Crimson Hawk. Hey, Pop, why don't you throw your drinking straw at Blake? I, he does sometimes. Uh, by the way, my coworker went to take a shit in a porter potty. The seat was up, winning. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? Uh, oh no! There's been a few times where individuals went into the porta potty and they mysteriously got knocked over on the door. Boop! And as we ran away, 
we look back and you can see the face of the dude like, help me! <laughs> help! That's oh funny. my God! Oh, that's classic, <laughs> classic. I did that in summer camp too. Of course. Yeah, that's uh, fucking awesome. It's all part of the business. <laughs> C.G. Roberts, customer brought a G23 in for non-fire conditions. I opened up to find it plugged with pubes and roaches. Thank God I had gloves on. What? So you couldn't fire the weapon because it was full of pubic hair? And roaches. Who the fuck does that to We talking world? like bugs or roaches like weed? I don't know. Either, either one. Some it, of the, might either one, it doesn't belong there. <laughs> no, it does not. What were you doing? It's firing the gun with your ball sack near the... <laughs> There, the, the bolt has not opened and slammed shut. I mean, oh, jeez. That's yeah, horrendous. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. Crazy Uncle, last super chat in here. There's another email too long for Susan. One of the scouts, too, took his girl out for dinner and brought his girl back to the barracks, but ended up at the local bar and were too drunk to make it to his room. Ended up in the day room, and she apparently bent over the foosball table so he could warm her up. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah, yeah. I, Poor you know, cock! E eating some pousse. I was outside enjoying a cigar when we heard the screaming. I ran inside to find him falling over himself on his way to the latrine. We saw a mix of <laughs> something all over him. Oh, my God. We looked in the day room to see that she had passed out lost muscle control, and had explosive diarrhea into his eyes. We, we thought something was even worse and called the paramedics. As it turns out, he was in the process of getting his red wings. Oh! oh. Eating her out while she was menstruating without even realizing it. We called the paramedics due to the blood mixed within the river of shit that flowed down her legs. I would have barfed if I couldn't stop laughing. I, I, if I'd have saw that, I would have been puking and laughing. <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. That is, that is fucked up shit right there. Oh, no that pun terrible. intended. That's terrible. Damn. Uh, Pete, Pop, remember when you are throwing, when you were throwing nonstop when we got that deer? Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't do it, huh? No, no. He, 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 I was there. He shot this deer. I, I literally helped him. I went out there, and we picked it up. We put it back in the truck. We brought it back there. And, and the, the, the best thing to do if you shoot a deer is to gut it immediately. Yeah. Because you don't want any of the internal organs yeah, spoiling wait. the meat. Don't wait. Yeah, and he oh. like he unzipped that deer, and all that shit fell out, and I was like, <laughs> ah. that's just not for me, man. Sorry, bro. Uh, crazy Uncle Porto Sheeter. Whenever I hear a female trainee scream in a Porto Sheeter, I yell, "Don't kill it! It eats the other things." <laughs> you know, here's this. This is an, <laughs> that's awesome. This is Iraq. All right. <clears throat> so, when I was the first sergeant in Iraq, I actually would fly in helicopters from time to time because I had I had troops all over Iraq. So I uh, land, I don't remember the airfield. We land in the Black Hawk. I have to go over to a, a Chinook, which is a, a CH-47. And they're like in the middle of this horrific practical joke war that I, I, I had nothing to do with it. I was just a witness. Of course. So literally, you know, I'm sitting there and, and I put on the headphones and I can hear him in the back. I'm like, is, is he there yet? <laughs> all right, let, let me know when he's up. You can hear the crew chief. All right, stand by. All right, all right. The door, the door shut. Give him a few minutes. He should just shut the door. All right. So, okay, do it now. They get, they, they take off in the CH forty seven, and they they go towards the bank of porta shitters where the guy just went, and they they go, ah, and then all of the prop wash. Literally, that porta shitter is like, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. like you see the dude's hat come out. <laughs> And there's just <laughs> this spray of poop and blue fluid everywhere. And everyone, like, like literally, you can hear the pilot, like, take the stick, I'm laughing too hard, oh my God. You're like, ah! oh. Dude, that's like a, a $40 million aircraft, and they're using it to fuck with another pilot who was using the portage shitter. It was classic, man. It is classic. I laughed the entire way. I was like, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got a chance to see that, because I really need to see some funny shit. Oh, that is nasty. But it was funny. Ooh. And uh, as we fly off, you know, you see the pilot gets out of the portage shitter, and he's like, 
<laughs> I knew there had to be some retribution shit. I mean, I I just couldn't let that stand without getting even. That's hilarious, dude. Mm. Wow. Uh, we got another email here. Okay. From Jeffrey. Back in 1981, I was out drinking with friends at Fort Bragg. I was using an empty beer bottle to spit my Red Man tobacco in. And before I could stop him, I had a friend grab the bottle and took a big swig. I've seen that before, and it's not pleasant. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, well, just, uh, che- chewing tobacco, dude, really. Uh, see, I, just, I'm going to be honest. It's gross. Like, I got off active duty without having being addicted to coffee, cigarettes, chewing tobacco, nothing. I didn't pick up any of those bad habits. Ugh. Oh! I, I was pretty fortunate. That's pretty fortunate indeed, I would say. Uh, over to MGTOW.TV. I have paid this. My old man was in the Air Force, and he got the typhoid fever poke while he was in there. My old man works for the Department of Energy and has to endure the poke mandate. He's sick at the moment. And I told him that if he, his meat suit eviction notice gets sent to him over this, I said that, not saying I would, but I would understand if someone caused a sewer gas combustion phenomenon under the Senate building. Well, things happen. I'm not, not saying say? you should do that. But I understand. Greg V976, Pelosi is going to push that broke back Biden bill into t- in tonight. I have to give her the big fuck off. Okay, we're going to have to go with the big fuck off. Damn yeah, right. and here's another thing that I'm just, with the amount of people who are getting hurt from the poke and smoke, allegedly. Allegedly. I have no idea why people haven't actually gone after Fauci for a permanent sleep. Yeah, I mean, it's not like the World Health Organization has already released their own stuff. Yep. You know, that, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, this particular thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll cover that in the I'm just thing. saying, I mean, it, one could say that there is a drastic difference between 1968 to 2021, 272,000 total reported adverse effects versus 2.4 million in only a year. Less than a year. I'm not saying that. There is a coincidence there, but it's impossible for people with a brainstem to ignore. That's why it's being removed. Yes. And we are going to talk about that in New Tech in a little bit. That's right. Boliami, with a $25 donation. Thank you very Thank much, you very good much. sir. On board my second submarine, I had a sonar tech catch the clap and not tell anyone. Oh, my God! We finally found out when he couldn't piss was septic and severely jaundiced. Wow. Haloed off. They had to cut off the tip. Yeah. That's not good. Now, listen. Just take I the have, antibiotics. Th- yeah. I've oh. had a lot of guys over my career piss hot for the clap or, or the gun in real Riggs. light. Gun in real light. He's just one of them. And, uh, yeah. I mean, that is so uncomfortable. I just can't even imagine. Like, after two days, some of these guys were literally in tears. Ugh. Look, man, just 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 go get yelled at. It's not a big deal. Take the pills. It's horrendous. That is terrible. Oh, oh, oh. That is not cool at all, man. That is very much. That's not your cool. fucking junk. Ugh. Uh, we already did these Streamlabs chats. We're gonna get back to those on new tech here in just a little bit. But uh, your favorite degenerate, I'm I'm seeing your chat right now over on Streamlabs. That link, I'm unable to click on it in the Streamlabs, so if you could email that to me, redonkulousblake at gmail.com, I will click on it when we get back to the Streamlabs chats on New Tech. If you know what I mean. All right. Favorite thing that I've heard this week. Oh, yeah. Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals permanently blocks the OSHA COVID-19 jab mandate. And I'm not sure how... I'm not sure if the word permanently means what they think it means, because it's you know it's still going to go before SCOTUS, but well, it, OSHA it, has backed down on trying to push it well, because the, there's too many lawsuits. The thing is, if SCOTUS doesn't pick it up, doesn't want to hear the case, yeah, then it's that's a done deal. Yep, says here, a three-judge panel on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has now permanently blocked OSHA from implementing and enforcing its vaccine rule, which impacts full employers nationwide. This is not the end of the judicial review road for the rule. 
Challenges to the rule were filed in multiple federal circuit courts across the country. When there are multiple filings like these, a multi-circuit lottery system is utilized for purposes of consolidation and clarity. <coughs> All of the appeals are consolidated before the circuit court selected in the blind lottery, which will then hear the challenge to the rule. Lottery is expected to take place on or about Monday, November 16th. So that has already happened. How old is this? Two days ago. Okay, mm -hmm. so... That's what happened. <laughs> I guess. Well, my thing is this: is now that this has been, you know, kiboshed for the time being. If there are companies out there that were basically saying "do this" or "we'll fire you," and you had to comply, you can now sue the sue shit them. out of them for yep. forcing that upon you. Because that is because <laughs> one, it that's wasn't a, labor a rights law. Violation. No. Okay, it, it, you know, edicts and dictate and dictatorship words are not laws. No. Okay, and OSHA has no business doing anything like this. No, hell no. I mean, it's one thing if like uh, a company, like for instance, that one uh, ma uh, machine company, Office Six Ninety Six, that had the chemicals leaking. From the yeah yeah I know which one you're talking out about. of their foundation and it was so bad it was leaking into the freeway yeah they had to cordon that off for quite and a while. they're still digging on that yep okay that is shit OSHA OSHA should have been involved in that from the get yep. okay and in the administrative violence corporate edition yeah. I will teach you how to how to sick the FTA the CDC OSHA and and all of those other organizations on businesses that you seem to be upset with hell yeah and it's all completely unethical just like the <laughs> FDA FDA asks court for 55 years okay to fully release poke data all right no the Gee, reason they're doing why. this they want to wait 55 years because they know they fucked up. They know there's all kinds of problems, okay, and it is so egregious that the people involved in this are basically in fear for their lives and financial um, safety. And the only way they can guarantee that is if they put the kibosh on it until everyone involved in this process has long since been dead. Yep. Absolutely. That's that, No. I'm sorry. The FDA's request was made in a filing as part of a Freedom of Information Act lawsuit by a medical transparency group. The government told the court it has 329,000 pages of documents responsive to the FOIA request and proposed releasing 500 pages per month to allow for redactions of exempt material. At that no. rate, it would take 55 years to release the right, record. Now, hang, hang on, hang on. All right. There's absolutely no reason for anything there to be redacted no this was subsidized yes it should not be redacted period like the only time i can actually get behind redaction is if it has confidential top secret information yeah okay okay i i could get behind that because you know i understand how that whole situation how that whole process works and why it and why it's there but there's absolutely no reason for them to redact anything. No. All right. But you know why they're doing this. Let's just, uh, well, let's play the receipts. High school senior is in the hospital after collapsing on the tennis courts. Breaking new details on the deaths of a high school soccer player. Finland, Not saying Denmark one has anything man, to do with Christian the other. Erickson collapsing nope. towards the end of the first half. The Kennedy High community mourning tonight after one of their high school football players died. A South Carolina high school football player has died after collapsing at football practice. Star college basketball player collapsing oh on God. the court. We want to warn you, the video may be difficult to watch. Florida Gator star Keontae John Johnson collapsing during the game. A West Catholic high school student has died after collapsing during a football scrimmage. On mile eight, she suddenly felt fuzzy and blacked out. 17-year-old Ryan Jacobs' heart stopped. Unexpectedly collapsed on the field. Megan went into cardiac arrest. Collapsing during Friday night's football game. Totally just a series of unrelated coincidences. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. This does happen from time to time. But at this clip? No. 12-year-old kids? Yep. 
Yeah, not so much. 17. The reason for his collapse is unknown. The reason why Manny collapsed in the first place still isn't known. Uh, we know what it is, but we can't mention it here on this platform. Yep. So you might be wondering how someone in such great shape could suffer cardiac arrest. It's a rare thing that happens. Set is rare. Rare, right? yeah. 13. 13 year old kid. Yep. It's just one of those tragedies. Yep. Uh huh. Just one of those tragedies. Yeah. 12 years old. 17. I mean, some of these people are in their heart attack years, but 16-year-old, 12-year-old, 13. She felt like she's in the best shape of her life. That's incredible. Uh, I, yeah. A marathon runner? Come on. We have lots more of these for you guys to watch. We're not going to watch them all here. Nope. Some of them have copyrighted material, but uh, all Wait. sources will be available on redonkulous.com after the stream. Because we provide receipts, bitches! Always. This is so messed up. Yeah, you can stop it now, man. It's, it's, just, it's just heartbreaking. All right, now, we're, I'm going to make a comment here. Go for it. All right, the whole 55 years to release all the information, when this happens to enough people, they aren't going to care about no. them releasing the information. No, they're not going to give them Because they won't 50, need it. No, they're not going to give them 55 hours, let alone 55 yeah, years. I'm, I'm just telling you right now, uh, it's... <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah. I'm not, not that one has anything to do with the other. We're not, we're not allowed to talk about that. I'm just saying. It was, you know, stunning and brave, totally. They, they really do care about you. Mm -hmm. You know, all 40-some-odd billion dollars in profits for Pfizer alone. They totally care about you. In fact, they care about you so much, they want you to stop smoking weed, and that's what they're actually trying to blame these heart attacks on. Cannabis use disorder may be linked to growing number of heart attacks in younger adults. Gee, something we never heard about for hundreds of years okay, suddenly becomes a problem, and this study was released November 8th. Mm -hmm. Cannabis has been used since we started digging up Mesopotamia and reading their clay tablets that they had fired so they're permanent, or they talked about ganja use. That's from 8,000 years ago. Yep. And Nixon put a whole team of scientists to find out how this was bad for you. Instead, they came back with a whole laundry list of health benefits of its use. You don't think that they would have found this back in the 70s when we had the executive branch dedicated to demonizing this shit? Who knew? Who like knew? puking on a pile of shit. Holy smoke and Joe oh. Frazier. We're going to get into the details and read the rest of your super chats on New Tech, but Pop's squirrel bladder is full. Hang on. Got to do one last inventory before we sign Always up. Always got to do the inventory. 878 people watching on YouTube, 48 on MGTOW.TV, 117 on Odyssey. Apologies to the DLive crowd. Not sure what the hell is going on with that. And 82 on Twitch. All right. Winning. We'll see you on New Tech shortly, and I will make sure to place the links for the streams where they are working in the chat for you guys. Roger that. Roger Rabbit. <laughs>